Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, we'll show you a game between Maxim Atlakov and Levon Aronian. This is a game from World Cup played in Tbilisi, Georgia in 2017. Maxim Atlakov had white pieces and he started with d4. Levon Aronian played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, d5, queen's gambit declined, c takes on d5, queen's gambit declined, exchange variation, black to move, knight takes on d5 was played, e takes on d5 is the most played move, knight takes on d5 was played and this allows e4, knight takes on c3, pawn takes knight c5, this is the standard move. This is also something that black plays in the Grunfeld defense. Why to move? Rook to b1 was played. Knight to f3 is the most played move, and then black usually plays c takes on d4, and after c takes on d4, bishop to b4 check, and white blocks with the bishop. This variation is also good for white. Rook to b1 was played. This is preventing bishop to b4 check. Bishop to e7. If c takes on d4, c takes on d4, and there is no bishop to b4 check. So we have bishop to e7, knight to f3, Aronian castle kingside. Bishop to c4, queen to c7, x ring the bishop on c4, defending the bishop, a6, intending b5. A4, C takes on D4, C takes on D4, Bishop to D7, attacking the pawn on A4. How to defend the pawn? What would you do? Maybe Bishop to B3 comes to mind? Maxim Atlakov, castle at king's side. Rook to C8, if Bishop takes on A4, Matlakov probably intended D5. Back to our game. Rook to c8 was played. Bishop to d3. Bishop takes on a4. Black is a pawn up. d5 and now knight to d7. If e takes on d5, e takes on d5, and the development of the knight would be delayed because knight to d7 is dropping the bishop. So we have knight to d7. White to move. How would you continue this position if you had white pieces? Perhaps d takes on e6 comes to mind. Do you agree? Maxim Atlaku played e5, sacrificing another pawn. e takes on d5 and black is two pawns up. What is the idea behind the pawn sacrifice or sacrifices? How will you continue this position if you had white pieces? Maxim Atlaku played e6. This is the idea. Black to move. Knight to f8 was played. If f takes on e6, queen takes on e6 check. Attacking the bishop and after king to f8, bishop takes on h7. This is very unpleasant for black king. So we have knight to f8. Pawn takes pawn on f7 check, and black king had to get up from his royal chair to pick up the pawn. White to move. Knight to d4 was played. Rook to e1 seems like a good move too. Knight to d4, bishop to f6. Black is still two pawns up. How much compensation white has for two sacrificed pawns? There's a compensation for this. Black king is not very safe, is he? White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? There was a surprise. Maxim Matlako played. Bishop takes on h7, preventing king to g8. If white plays queen to g4, then king to g8. So we have bishop takes on h7. Black to move. Queen to e5 was played. Would you like to know why Aronian didn't take on h7? 
Do it? Okay. I will email Aronian and ask him. Or maybe we can work it out. Let's take this move back. If knight takes on h7, then queen to e6 check, bishop takes pawn on h7, was a deflection tactic. The knight is no longer defending e6 square. After king to f8, bishop to a3 check, and after bishop to e7, white has even two good moves in this position. One is rook to c1 attacking black queen, and another one is queen takes on d5, intending knight to e6 check, winning the queen. Okay, back to our game. In this position, Aronian played queen to e5. Being a pawn up, Aronian wants to exchange queens. Matlako said not so fast. Rook takes on b7 check. Bishop to d7. White to move. White mustn't forget about the bishop on h7. What is the best square for the bishop? Or maybe this is a trick question. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Matlako played a brilliant move, which is not so easy to find. And the move is queen to g4. What a move, what a move. Queen takes on d4. If knight takes on h7, then rook takes on d7 check, and after king to g8, knight to f5, and white is better. That is why Aronian played queen takes on d4. Matlako, of course, counted on this variation. Matlako played. Rook takes on d7 check, knight takes on d7, queen takes on d7 check, bishop to e7, and now rook to e1. And black is in serious trouble. Very, very serious trouble. Aronian played queen to e5 to avoid checkmate. Aronian offered the queen for free. Maybe. Should white grab the queen immediately? Or should white come to three and then grab the queen? Which option do you like? Matlako didn't like any of these options. He played bishop to d2. If rook takes on e5, then rook takes bishop check, and this would make even a grown-up man cry. Because after rook to e1, rook takes rook. Back rank checkmate. That would be a very sad ending. That is why Matlako played bishop to d2, removing the target. Black to move. Rook to d8. Queen for queen. White to move. White played the move. And black resigned. The move is... Queen to g4. Aronian resigned. If queen goes, say, to f6, then bishop to g5 is winning. And if queen goes to d6, then bishop to b4. And if queen takes on b4, queen to f5 check, bishop to f6, queen to e6 check, king to f8, and there is checkmate in one. The move is queen to g8 checkmate. Nicely played game by Matlakov. Do you agree? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.